Hello everybody and welcome back to Mind Tech with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at super long redstone clocks. Now this all came out when a few years ago I saw Mumbo had the idea of shooting items onto pressure plates. But it seemed very um, risky almost to do that and it seemed, you know, it, it was a great idea. But it almost just seemed to be, you know, it, it was overkill and it really wasn't doing it properly in my opinion so I instead developed a new system and I've never seen this it's a um, it's a deviation on ethos uh, redstone clock design which actually you know I just found out about that I didn't even know that it was his clock idea until uh, mumbo actually mentioned it in a recent video but I'm already kind of mad at mumbo also because for this next season on here I had intended on building a bunch of tree houses to put all my farms in and what does mumbo do he goes and he builds a bunch of tree houses so i'm gonna kind of be toiling with that idea i think i might still do it just because you know i think i can do it better i think i can do it differently i definitely had different ideas on how to do it he's doing it more of just you know like how you'd find one in a backyard i actually wanted to encase my farms in trees so that if you were looking at it, it definitely it looked like a gigantic uh, forest versus a um, versus a bunch of tree houses. So I'm gonna kind of toil around with the idea a little bit. But first, let's get to the carboway. The carboway for today is right here, and it is a full chest. Come on, I might have to. Let me sort out this leg. Yep, there it goes. There, it's fixed. If anybody here works for Comcast, first off, shame on you. Second off, fix it. My com my internet sucks. But um, anyway, this is where it is. I'll tap the F3. Uh, the previous chest was actually right over there in that PvP arena, so this chest is not that far away. And if you look up here, you can kind of see the uh, little cords up there. I'll go back up there just so you can see them again. But um, I also just wanted to say one thing right quick. Whoever built this nether wart tree it is really really nice i actually that's very creative and i really like it but anyway let's get into our creative world so i can show you guys all about my redstone clocks so this is the design by ethos and it i really think this is a really nice uh clock you can typically get them to go up to like five minutes if you just put a redstone torch on the uh side here you can have just a little input and basically when this reaches zero it'll just pulse right quick and sound out, send out a redstone signal and it's just a really really nice system however you're kind of limited to about five minutes because you can only really fit about four and a half stacks here hoppers move items at 2.5 seconds per stack so just I'm just gonna open up my calculator right quick so 4.5 times 64 is 288 divided by 2.5 is 115 seconds times 2 is 230 divided by 60 is 3.84 minutes. So you got about four minutes in between each of the pulses here. And why did I just do that? It's been a really tough week for me. but uh, So you only got about four minutes between each of these pulses which is not that great that's not great so basically what i did is i altered the designs and we're just going to be looking at a few of the designs here and hopefully one will serve your needs so this is my very first design and it still uses the uh four and a half stacks of uh, items here as you can see they're kind of moving back and forth but all that i did was i took another set of hoppers and i just put them so that they're running into each other back and forth like a standard hopper clock and basically it ba it locks and unlocks these hoppers so it effectively doubles the time so we go from about four minutes to about eight minutes now if you're doing something like a mob farm that would almost be preferred just because of the fact that it means that you're only sending out a signal every eight minutes gives mobs plenty of time to spawn and plenty of time to uh to be pushed off if you're turning on the uh, water at the same time you're turning off water on another level if you understand what i'm saying but for some people that's still not long enough from there basically i extended it out a little bit more and this one effectively doubles the length from that one so 
times two times two, that's four times as long. Now that's theory. We're gonna get into some testing a little bit later, but for right now, let's just focus on this. As you can see, basically, I have redstone torches here, and when the item passes in front of these comparators, it turns off these torches and allows items to move in these hoppers. Now, it is a really nice design, but at the same time, I really don't know. I haven't really tested these out yet. So, basically, you go from 4 minutes to 8 minutes to 16 minutes. That seems really great, but... What if you need to go even longer? Now, 16 minutes is a really long setting, so I really don't know how you can how you would need anything longer, but one of the nice things about this design is you can add even more on here. Now we have, let's see, 12 hoppers going around here, and you should see it cycle through right there. And basically, it just allows one, th one item through for every time it goes around. That's a really nice, uh, nicely designed system, and it takes forever to get through, obviously. It probably would take about an hour, because if you figure that one's 16 minutes, let's just say 20 minutes, this is about three times as long, so you'd think three times the length of that one. So 16 times three, you're looking at, oh, my brain, my, my, my poor, poor brain, you're looking at about 48 minutes, and you can make them even bigger i just made them i just made it this size but you can make it wrap all the way around the design you could do just really weird things and have some fun and make just you know maybe like a 10 hour clock i don't know why you would need 10 hours but you can make it and it's just a very simple design but uh let's uh let's hop on right quick i'm going to show you guys how or before we move on actually i'm just going to show you guys how to make these right quick Basically, you just take your two hoppers and you put them into each other. Take two comparators, put them out like that. Take two solid blocks. They need to be solid. I'm just using um, cobblestone because it accents against the sandstone really nice. Take your two sticky pistons and a redstone block. And then all you want to do is put just a stack of items in there or however long you want the pulse to be. And just like that. Now... One other little trick you can do with this is you can actually take that off and you can make it a regular piston so that you can have an input into here and a timed delay, basically. So you can kind of have a dual edge or, or a um, monostable circuit here, a timed monostable circuit, which is kind of what I'm going to be using for the testing. So let's hop over to the testing and you guys can see how it works. So as you can see, I've just replaced all of these with uh, with regular pistons. Basically, what I what happens is when I hit this button, it unlocks it. It will turn. It'll start feeding items into this hopper, which will turn off, which this comparator will sense and turn off this redstone torch right here, which will turn on this additional redstone clock. So we have a redstone clock being fed off a redstone clock. This is getting kind of trippy there to kind of explain and it just goes into this dropper which goes into this large or into this empty chest which is fed and the dropper is fed by this full chest now i really don't think this one's going to fill it however this one might now i'm not going to do the full four and a half stacks just because of the fact that i don't want to be here for 20 minutes or 60 minutes or whatever so i instead am only going to do one stack that way i can go through here and say okay we moved 64 items which is how many should be moved here we moved 128 items here we moved you know however many items and just be able to quantify exactly what's going on now i'm not going to do a time lapse just because of the fact that it's going to be really boring so i'm just going to go through press all these buttons to start up the uh, timers and get back to you once they've all set so the testing has completed, and the testing was a little weird. I've already looked through the results a little bit, but we'll look through them again here. So we had a little over a stack here. I really don't know why it'd be like that. So because of the fact that with all this working, it should have been an even one stack also here. All I can think is that, you know, it's just minor glitches. Right here we have about two stacks, so it makes sense since it's right about doubled. Over here then... We have about four stacks. We have a hair under four stacks, which would make sense since I said that this was basically double this. So four stacks from two stacks, you know, that's essentially doubled. But then we get over here. Let's see. We have 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, this is three times what this is. So that's just, you know, an example. 
of just how insanely long these timers can can be built but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to hit that like button if you guys really liked it please make sure to subscribe i'm always looking for new uh, video ideas so if you guys leave a uh, comment and i happen to use it and you guys are on exuma's lpmt server or exuma's patreon server you can go on there and collect a prize for me on lpmt server it's a free stack of iron on exuma's patreon server it's a free stack of diamonds but anyway i will see you all next week